What is up everyone, it is Sacred Zone here, welcoming you back to another video. So today we're going to be doing the fourth part of my origin series, what if Sacred Zone was in Dragon Ball. You guys loved the last video, and if you end up liking today's video, then please consider subscribing. It is free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, then there is a link to that in the description of the video. You can talk to me and my community, grind for roles, hang out, and if you put your art in the art text channel, and 10 people react to it with a star, it will get featured at the end of a video. With all of that out of the way, let's get into today's episode of... What if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball? Cell can't help but grin because of his newfound power, but Sacred, and more notably Gohan, have a completely different reaction. Tears flow down Gohan's face as he screams out of anger. He blames himself for the death of Raditz. If only he wasn't so afraid to go full power against Cell, maybe Raditz would still be alive. Gohan begins to power up, his hair spiking up and turning blue. It is time he ends this battle once and for all. Cell laughs, welcoming the challenge, but before he can say a word, Gohan lands a swift kick to his jaw, sending him flying. He did this to honour Raditz, as that is what Raditz did to Frieza on Namek. Gohan and Cell then rush at each other with intense speeds. Gohan seems to be holding his own at first, but Cell begins to slowly demonstrate his true power, which gives him a clear advantage over Gohan. However, this is when Sacred steps in, also in Super Saiyan Blue, and he begins to back up his son, the pair actually giving Cell a run for his money. Cell begins to struggle fighting the two Saiyans, so using his strategic mind, he decides he will focus all his attacks onto the weaker of the two Saiyans, that being Gohan, so then he won't have to focus on facing two opponents. Unfortunately for Cell, Sacred anticipated this, so Sacred defends Gohan while Gohan attacks Cell. Cell is furious. Even with his new power up, he is somehow losing. He draws all of the power from his reserves and he kicks Gohan away, beginning to have a one-on-one -on -one battle with Sacred. This would lead to Sacred jumping back and beginning to power up even further, transforming into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Cell is astonished that Sacred is still holding back against him, and now Cell doesn't even stand a chance against Sacred. Cell resorts to drastic measures, beginning his self-destruct sequence. However, unlike in canon, Cell self-destruction won't just destroy a planet. It will not only destroy an entire timeline, but it will completely erase it. Sacred says he can simply erase Cell before he can explode, but Cell retorts, saying that because of all of the erasure energy already building up inside of him, Sacred attempting that would not only speed up the inevitable, but it would also make the power of the self-destruction even stronger. Sacred reverts to base form and he turns to a heavily injured Gohan on the ground. Sacred smiles, and he tells Gohan to take care of his mother. Gohan screams no, as Sacred transforms back into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and creates a barrier around himself and Cell. Cell self-destructs, and Sacred sacrifices himself, containing the destruction inside of the barrier, being erased in the process. In tears, Gohan flies to the lookout, and when he arrives, Vegeta, Nappa and Kami are about to summon Shenron. Gohan falls to his knees, in serious pain, and he tells him there is no point summoning Shenron. Shenron can't revive people who were erased, so they can't revive Raditz or Sacred. Gohan then hears a feminine voice behind him, telling Gohan to cheer up, and instantly Gohan is fully healed. Gohan turns around, and he sees a short purple woman who introduces herself as the Supreme Kai of Time. She then says that there is a way to bring both Raditz and Sacred back. They just need to use the Dragon Balls that Sacred created. Kami butts in, saying that since Sacred is dead, his Dragon Ball should be inactive, but that is when the Supreme Kai of Time tells Kami to not be ridiculous. Sacred was so powerful that even in death, his Dragon Balls are still fully functional. Gohan asks where his Dragon Balls are, and the Supreme Kai of Time then says that is the reason she is here. Unlike the Earth's Dragon Balls, which only get spread out throughout the Earth, the Sacred Balls get spread out throughout different timelines. And luckily, she knows which timelines they are in. The only problem is, they won't be the only people looking for them. Toa and Mira are also in search of the Dragon Balls in order to wish for the Demon Realm to rule over every timeline. They have already gathered two of the Balls, so in order to revive Sacred and Raditz, they must defeat Toa and Mira. 
Gohan nods, and he looks to Nappa and Vegeta, telling them to protect the Earth while he's gone, and to tell Chi Chi everything that is happening, and that he is sorry he can't be there to tell her himself. Gohan and the Supreme Kai of Time then disappear, and they reappear in the Time Nest where Zeno Trunks is awaiting their arrival. Trunks introduces himself, and he says how the Gohan of his timeline was his mentor and was his hero. Trunks is sure Sacred Gohan is just like him. The Supreme Kai of Time interrupts them, and says that she's going to look for the timeline with the 4 star Sacred Ball in it. In the meantime, Gohan and Trunks should train with each other. They're going to be partners for quite a while after all, so they might as well get to know each other and see how each other fight. The two Saiyans agree to this, so while the Supreme Kai of Time goes to retrieve the scroll with the first timeline in it, the two Saiyans spar, and it is quickly obvious that Trunks isn't even a speck of dust compared to Gohan. However, Trunks does have far more experience than Gohan, so they will have a good partner dynamic. The Supreme Kai then walks over to Gohan and Trunks, saying it seems the 4 star Sacred Ball is in a timeline where Vegito never diffuse. Gohan is confused, asking who Vegito is, and Trunks just smiles, telling Gohan he will see. Trunks takes the scroll from the Supreme Kai of Time, and he then tells Gohan to hold on as they are transported into the timeline. They appear in between a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Beerus, and they awkwardly fly down to Earth. Vegito is confused, but Beerus guesses that Supreme Kai of Time has something to do with this, so he decides to brush off the interruption of Trunks and Gohan, and he then continues his battle with Vegito. Trunks and Gohan look around for the Sacred Ball, and then Whis walks over to them, holding the ball, and he asks if this is what they are looking for. The two Saiyans nod, and they ask for the ball, with Whis gladly giving it to them. The two Saiyans thank the angel, and they then head back to the Time Nest with the Sacred Ball. Gohan says he hopes it is that easy to get all of them, but Trunks says that will probably be the only one which is easy to get. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick and easy to do. With all of that out of the way, I hope to see you all in the next episode of What If Sacred Saiyan Was In Dragon Ball.